Hey there, we are the Babes That Wander, a group of diverse women with a shared love of travel. Follow along as we explore the world, one amazing destination at a time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Come along with us now as we wander to the Florida Keys. Good morning, I'm at LAX. I'm about to board my flight. So excited to see all my babes that wander. I think Lauren here. I am in the San Diego airport, about to head to Miami so we can go to Florida Keys for a babes that wander trip. It's going to be a huge blast. I can't wait to soak up the sun, have a couple margaritas, hang out with my girls. See you there. Just boarded my flight to Miami. My first flight is on a mask, so it feels really good. But see you guys soon. To get to the Florida Keys, you can either fly straight into the Keys or to save a little money, you can fly into Miami and drive from there. We decided to do the latter. The drive from Miami to Hawks K was about an hour and a half. Just got checked into Hawks K Resort, which we, and this is where we're gonna be for the first two nights. Now, Hawks K is about halfway down the Keys. This is an amazing resort. If you're looking for a place to come and check out the Keys that's sort of central to the Keys, this is a great option. Whether or not you're coming here with your family or with some, a group of friends or your partner, this is an amazing resort to check out. To remind you guys back when we first got here, we've already checked out the pool area and a little quick tour of our villa here. Hawks K offers regular hotel rooms and also villas that you can stay in. We were renting a villa, but the hotel looked great as well. We arrived a little bit early for check-in, but they were totally okay with us checking out the pool while we waited for our villa to be ready. We ordered some tacos and relaxed. What do you think, guys? Not, not bad for the, a day in the office. <laughs> I love this little man-made beach area they have here. I was surprised to learn when I got to the Keys that there aren't a whole lot of beaches in the Keys. So it's nice that Hawks K has this option if you would rather a beach feel over a pool feel. Hawks K also has like a dolphin experience where you can go and feed the dolphins and play with them. Oh my God, they're posing for a picture, I can't even. Right off to the side of the pool is a little marketplace area where you can go in and order Starbucks. They have hot food to go and all kinds of snacks and toys and things for sale. This is really great because Hawksgate is kind of a little bit out there. The nearest market is like a 16 minute drive away. So it's great that they have this option to grab some little necessities that you might need on the resort. Here is a little house tour of our villa here at Hawksgate. This is our lovely kitchen. Here we have one of the three bedrooms. Kitchen. I freaking love how they folded the little towel animals. Half bath down here. Actually, no, this is not a half bath. This is a full bath. Here is the living space. Y'all, look at the view out here. Little patio back here with a lounge, little table. Let's go upstairs. Here is the second bedroom. You've got Two double beds, TV, nice little closet, patio right out here, a bathroom in here for this bedroom. And then we have the master bedroom. Nice big bed, big closet, a TV, more drawers, and big bathroom. The thing to love about it is this balcony. several awesome dining options that you have on the property at Hawks K. I would say it's like an upscale casual vibe. It's right out here on the water. They have some robot waiters which was very fascinating for us all and a really beautiful view off of their balcony. Everyone has arrived. We're all in the Keys now. Everything was so amazing. We loved these conch fritters and the ahi tacos. I also really loved my entree, which is a scallop dish that was a special. All the food here was so yummy. I know, it's like a Disneyland tram. They also have this awesome tram that runs around the property to help you get around so you don't have to walk everywhere. 
is VIP service. You know? Why walk seven minutes when you can ride the Disneyland tram? <laughs> Good morning. It's first full day at Florida Keys. They're at the villa at Hawks K. We're up getting early. What we're about to go do is actually go have breakfast and then snorkel. See the magic of underwater. Just kind of enjoying everything that is Florida Keys starting this morning and seeing how the day goes. We woke up the next morning bright and early to start our day. Took a short drive for breakfast before starting our Key West adventures. But the drives here are always so beautiful. For breakfast, we headed into the Hungry Tarpon restaurant on Robbie's Marina. This place is so awesome. They're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you'll find a bunch of $1 bills stapled everywhere. I guess the legend has it that the men that work on the fishing boats would come and they would staple $1 bills to the bar. So just in case they ever came in and needed a drink, they would have some money. Good morning. We are at breakfast bright and early, getting some sustenance. <laughs> Have a secret. Go snorkeling this morning, and we're at this really cool little waterfront bar for breakfast. Yeah, but I feel yeah, like this would be a super cute spot to come get drinks later, or watch the sunset. So sorry, it's not going to stop us from having mimosas, though. No, I don't blame you. I think Doesn't look like much, but it's a lobster frittata with hollandaise sauce. It's gonna be good, I hope. <laughs> Definitely make sure to try out their famous white trash Bloody Mary. It's definitely, definitely got tomato juice in there. Good I mean, flavor. That's good flavor. I'm gonna drink this and eat it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go feed the tarpon. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> One of the things you can do at Robbie's Marina is feed the tarpon, which is a fish. So they give you a bucket of fish to feed bigger fish in the water. But these pelicans, man, they want your fish. Oh, I see. Okay, I see now the fish. We're feeding the fish. Okay. Ah! He's very adamant. I'm gonna hit the fish. Thank you. Not supposed to feed the pelicans, but they are really aggressive and they're really trying hard to get oh, go out in our buckets. Just slightly terrifying. Hey! Ah! Wow, you're getting really crafty with this, Greta. Our snorkeling got pushed back a little bit, so we decided to hit up the pool at Hawks K, but we went to the adults only pool, cause you know, we are ladies who like our peace and quiet. And luckily, if you're staying at Hawks K, they have this beautiful Oasis K where only adults 21 and up are allowed, and it is very serene and very nice. We were planning on going snorkeling right after breakfast, but it's a little bit windy this morning, so they pushed our snorkeling. Session yeah. back to 1 p.m. Hopefully the wind dies down a little bit by then. So until then we're just here at the adults only pool. So nice and quiet here. It's very chill. No children. Ordered a couple cocktails. We're just gonna relax and also shoot a bunch of content because. The babes at Wander happened to be working with Ari on this trip, and big thanks to Ari for these cute suits that we are all wearing all throughout the trip. Getting the shot. Getting the shot. We're getting it. We're kicking our leggies. <laughs> After some fun by the pool, we headed back to Robbie's Marina, not to snorkel. It got completely canceled because of the wind. On the boat, we're about to go parasailing, going up in the air. We have no clue how it's going to work out. Anyone else want to say something? Cross that we make it because I don't know how to swim. That's okay. I used to teach people to swim, so I have heard us back. And also, we are back where we were eating the tarpons earlier. So. Which is 
what? Instead, we decided to do an activity that works with the wind, parasailing. Hey, we're going parasailing now. Are you excited, Megan? Yeah. I've never been before. I'm a little nervous. I think it's really fun. If you've never tried parasailing before, definitely recommend booking an excursion like this while you're in Florida Keys. It was so incredible to be so high above the ocean. You can look down and literally see animals in the water from way up there, and it's actually so quiet and so peaceful and serene while you're high up in the air like that. It just was such a surreal moment and just made me so grateful for being able to travel. Hold on to your sunglasses! <laughs> After that blood pumping experience, it was time to take a chill pill. So we headed to Isla Meralda Brewery and Distillery, which is a local brewery and distillery here in the Florida Keys. They distill a couple different types of alcohol, vodkas, gins, rums, things like that. They also have some beers that they brew as well. So definitely worth checking out. Okay, so we're here at Isla Meralda Brewing Company. This is a local distillery here in Key West, well, the Keys, in Isma, Isma, Isma Meralda, I think I'm saying that right. It's a really awesome little local spot to check out. You can come do a free tasting of their spirits, which we're going to do in a bit. You can order drinks. They've got an indoor area and this really awesome little back outdoor area where we're hanging out. It's super shady. It's really nice back here and seems like a really fun place to come spend an afternoon and grab a drink or two. I love that with their flights, you could do a mix of beers or their pre-batched cocktails. So you really can have some flexibility to try out a bunch of the different stuff. Here's what I chose. The frozen key lime pie drink here oh, is one, one, amazing. And the will have to refill, so you have to finish something sometime. But hold it up if you're doing gin. They drink their so fast. This one and that one for sure. So this one, the original, we use just orange peel, juniper and coriander, and this hibiscus gin. We add, uh, in addition to the juniper, coriander, and orange peel, vanilla, cardamom, and hibiscus flowers, and then butterfly pea flowers, which gives us this lovely blue flower Ooh. color. And this is actually also what makes it change colors. So when we taste this one, it'll try it by itself, and then try it with a little lime in it. And I did purple. Wow. The more things you have, mm -hmm. the more color change you will get. It's a magic trick. Oh it's a magic God. trick. Oh. Wait, we need a video in that. <laughs> For dinner, we headed right down the street, literally a two minute drive to Murata Bay Beach Cafe and Bar. We just got done at the distillery. We went literally two minutes down the street to this beautiful beach bar and cafe called La Murata. It's so beautiful. So I think this is another um, restaurant right here which is stunning. We are over there. This fun little colorful spot um, and the view is beautiful. It honestly feels like you're in a totally different place like maybe an island in the Caribbean or in the Bahamas. You feel like you're somewhere even more exotic than even the Keys so view is top-notch. Murata Bay Beach Cafe is such a beautiful setting and we really enjoyed all the delicious fresh seafood they had on their menu. It was so good. Well, that about wraps up our time here in the Florida Keys. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for part two as we travel down south to Key West, Florida. Thanks for watching.